General Motors lost more than a billion dollars between July and September. As bad as that sounds, it's a step in the right direction. Some progress, uh, some signs of progress, some, some signs of stability. The third quarter performance compares to a $6 billion loss in the first quarter, which was the last full period before GM filed for a whirlwind bankruptcy. They're doing less bad than they were before. That's, that's wonderful. Maybe next year they'll be doing better than less bad. GM says new products are fueling the turnaround, including the relaunched Camaro and the Chevrolet Equinox, and it's predicting modest growth through the rest of this year and next. Even though the company is still losing money, GM says it's in a strong enough position now to start paying back the $6 billion it borrowed from the government. We have to begin the process. It's a personal commitment. It's a commitment of the entire leadership team of the company. The automaker is promising its first billion dollar payment next month and says it will pay off the total debt by the middle of 2011, a full four years ahead of schedule. Good, cool, that's great. Um, more power to you guys, uh, the sooner the better. Even when the loans are paid off, the government will still own 61% of GM, which means taxpayers won't really be reimbursed until the administration can sell its stock in the company. And since GM is not publicly traded yet, that won't be happening anytime soon. Alexis Christophorus, CBS News, New York.